Rule number one when it comes to looking good in a turtleneck sweater, know how to fold your collar. Now, when it comes to folding the collar of your turtleneck, you've actually got quite a few options. As you can see here, I'm wearing this on natural, basically no fold. This is the scrunch look. This is simply pulling the turtleneck collar over and this works when you have a turtleneck collar that isn't super long. Now, it does have a little bit of a disheveled look, so it is the most casual of all the turtleneck collar folds. Next, we've got the simple fold over. This is how we receive the turtleneck a lot of times from the store and a lot of guys just default to this. It's a decent look and what's nice about this, it's easy to match up that top of the turtleneck edge with the bottom of the seam right here. Just get rid of any wrinkles and a really decent look. The only issue with this style, if it's a really long turtleneck or if you've got a short neck, it could be too long and you'll get a bit of scrunching in there that really just throws the look off. To solve that issue, let me introduce you to the double fold. So very simply, when you're folding the turtleneck, you're going to want to break it into thirds. Right here at the top, we've got that first third that we fold over and then you're going to fold over a second time. It's very simple and what I like about this, it makes the turtleneck just a bit shorter and it stays in place better than the single fold. And for those of you guys that want the sleekest look, let's talk about the inside fold. Sorry, turtleneck pros, I'm giving away your secret. This one right here is really simple. It's a game changer for a lot of guys because they just don't think to tuck it on the inside. But what I love about this look, especially if you've got a really nice seam on a very tight weave, lightweight sweater. It just is a really nice work. This doesn't work on clunky sweaters, in my opinion, the heavier weight ones, but for lighter weight ones, it looks great. Now, it seems a lot of guys out there, especially in the comments of these videos, they say that, you know, turtlenecks, they're not for me. They don't look good on men. It's just not something I think a manly guy would ever try to pull off. To those naysayers, I want to say two things. Frank Bullet and John Shaft. Seriously, if you haven't watched Bullet with Steve McQueen, classic movie, but notice what he's pulling off right there on the streets of San Francisco, that turtleneck, and it looks so good. And what's great about this is that was over 50 years ago that he was pulling off this look. So you know what? That means that this is a timeless classic look that you can invest in, that you could wear today and not worry about it going out of style. I mean, I love this picture right here. You got the grandson, you got Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, all three of these guys right here, just looking great with the turtleneck sweater. And for anyone that knows their naval history, they're going to know that turtlenecks have been around for over 200 years, favored by not only sailors, but dock workers, anyone that are around a cold, wet, harsh environment, and they need to be able to keep their neck warm. Guess what? The turtleneck did everything. You didn't have to worry about putting a scarf on there, nothing getting caught. This was a streamlined garment that was incredibly functional and masculine. Also, if you're familiar with sports history in hockey, football, baseball, Anytime people are playing outdoors, a rough sport, again, you want to be able to keep your neck warm or maybe protected a bit. The turtleneck sweater has been there. All that being said, the turtleneck sweater does have limitations, especially if you've got a heavier set body. And this is where I think a lot of guys are actually just wearing the wrong type of turtleneck or they're wearing it in the wrong way. But first up, you know, if you've got a fit trim body, a well-fitted turtleneck, whether it's in a heavier weight material, a lightweight material, it's going to look good on you because you've simply got the body to be able to pull it off. If you are a skinny guy, then you're going to want to go for a heavier weave. Those type of fabrics and materials are going to look good on you. If you have a shorter neck, you want to pay attention to turtlenecks that are too long in the neck area. Maybe go for that triple fold that I talked about or go for a lighter weight material. Clunky turtlenecks can just be a little bit too much for the smaller, shorter guy. Now, for the man that's a little bit heavier, you got a little bit of extra weight around the midsection. You want to be careful of wearing a turtleneck by itself. We're going to talk about this a little bit later, how to layer, how to actually put on clothing that works with a turtleneck, but wearing a thin, light colored turtleneck that fits close to the body, if you've got an extra 50 pounds around the gut area, it's just going to show that off and it doesn't look good. It's something you want to avoid. In general, if you are heavier, go for darker turtlenecks. Go for ones that fit well, but you're going to want to make sure to layer them with other pieces. Now, tied with that last point, let's talk about fit. With a turtleneck, sweater, you've got to nail the fit. I say fit is king on this channel and that you should know the name of your tailor, take things to get adjusted. When it comes to sweaters, most people don't get sweaters adjusted. They take a little bit of different type of skill. Most tailors, maybe they've got a friend that can do this type of knitting, but because it's knit work, it is going to be something that can be brought in. It can be darted, but it can't be let out. So if a sweater is too tight, you just need to return it. If it's not a really good fit on that turtleneck, you need to consider, again, taking it back, maybe exchanging it for a different brand that's got a better fit to your body type or finding a different size and finding something that works for you. So the next rule to styling a turtleneck sweater is to find inspiration. We live in a great time. You can go over on Pinterest, you can go to Instagram, you can just simply go to Google and type in man 
turtleneck sweater and you will see so many great images. You'll also see some bad ones, but what you want to do here is find the ones that inspire you that you're like, you know what? I really like the look of that guy, especially if he shares your complexion, if he shares your build, this is all a great sign. And here's the thing, go ahead and rebuild, mimic that look, try to recreate it. You're not going to be able to recreate it exactly. And even if you do, here's the thing is no one going to say, oh, you look like that guy that was on Instagram. No, no one's going to know about that picture that you took inspiration from. All they're going to know is that, man, you're pulling off that look. You look amazing. And that's what you're shooting for is to have a direction, have an image that you're shooting for. And I will tell you that when it comes to picking colors, one of the best things I find with turtleneck sweaters is to mimic your jackets, your sports jackets, your casual jackets, because these are colors that you already gravitate towards. If nothing else, go with a charcoal gray or go with a navy blue. Those two right there are so easy to match in most men's wardrobes and they're a great starting place. In addition, if you're going to go with a particular type of weave, go with the lighter weaves. They're just so much easier to layer than the heavier bulky sweaters, which are really made to be worn as outerwear. And that last point dovetails us really nicely into this next rule, which is understand the difference different types of turtleneck sweaters out there. In general, you're going to see two types. You're going to see the chunky, looser, heavier, more casual, made for outerwear type of turtlenecks. And then you've got the lighter weaves, those made from maybe a cashmere or a very, you know, or a merino wool. These are going to be made more for layering. And if you've got the body for it, you can wear them as outer pieces. Now, today's video, gents, is all about making your life simpler. And when it comes to looking good, don't you wish it was simple as one, two, three? Well, guess what, guys? With today's sponsor, Vitaman, their essential skincare kit makes it simple for you to look good. Step number one, use a face wash first thing in the morning and right before you go to bed. Step two, twice a week, usually two to three days between each one, scrub your face with an exfoliator to remove dead skin cells. And step three, after washing your face, first thing in the morning and right before going to bed, use a daily moisturizer. Gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce you to Vitamin's Daily Essential System. This is the easiest natural skincare system right now that you can go out there and find. It's delivered right to your door every single month with everything you need to take care of your skin. And guys, as you know, Vitamant is my company. I stand behind every product we sell with a 100% money back guarantee. So, to be able to get 51% off your first order, make sure to use that link in the description of today's video. This deal is not going to be around forever. Use it or lose it. Go over to Vitamant check it out and consider taking the first step to you just looking better and feeling better about your skin. Now, what about patterns? What about weaves? What should you start off with? Well, the easiest thing as I talked about earlier is to go with a simple solid. I do think going with the lighter weight, the closer fitting, easier to layer style for pretty much every body type is going to work. Looking at navy blue, charcoal gray, Again, look to repeat colors that are already in your wardrobe. I know for me, I gravitate towards browns, golds, maroons. These colors already are in my wardrobe and I know that they're going to work. They're going to be interchangeable with other pieces. Now, occasionally you'll see turtlenecks out there with unique weaves, such as maybe like a cable knit design. This right here isn't going to really have various colors in it, but it is going to have a distinctive weave, a texture to it that you're going to be able to see even from a distance. These sweaters are going to be more towards the heavier, looser type, made to be worn as outerwear. They can be layered under certain circumstances, but they're going to be more casual. These also as well, I do think they're a little bit harder to pull off, but if you already know that you like turtlenecks, you want to try something different, then definitely check these out. And specifically in and around the collar area, you are going to see sweaters out there that have ribbing in the collar. This again is going to take more particular types of fold, usually the single fold over. These are going to be heavier on the outside. And the ribbing here is an old school way of actually giving a little bit of elastic. Before they had elastic materials, they would actually weave it in this way and it would actually return to its original shape if washed properly. So, the idea here is to provide just a little bit of, you know, get it closer fitted to the neck to keep the wind out. Now, what about patterns actually in a turtleneck sweater? So, whenever you see colors, you see variations, you see stripes going across. These, in my opinion, are going to be the least versatile type of turtleneck sweaters out there and you really should be careful. Don't buy this as your first type of turtleneck. Go for a solid. You want something that you can mix and match into your wardrobe. But again, if you've already got a collection, maybe you got 10 of them, you got six of them and you just want something a little bit different, then go for it. You already know that you can pull the sweater type off and uh, this will definitely set you apart from the crowd. And now let's talk about the rules of styling a turtleneck sweater. 
So you've probably noticed through this one, I'm wearing a sports jacket. It's actually a suit and I've actually got matching trousers. I wore this outfit the other day and absolutely loved it. It was nutcracker weekend for my daughters and I was spending a lot of time getting in and out of vehicles, moving around. It was cold outside. I didn't want to wear a necktie with you know, a dress shirt that was one. It's not as functional that necktie gets in the way. And also it's not as warm and this look just really works. So that is something I do encourage you to embrace just the functionality of the turtleneck. It's one of the reasons it's one of my favorite pieces of clothing in my wardrobe, but wearing it with a casual suit is such a great look that so many guys don't even think of. And again, you're going with the lighter weight weave. As you can tell here, I've got this gold colored turtleneck that just, I already knew worked in my wardrobe. I've got a sports jacket like this and one other sweater. And I was like, you know what? This is such an easy look because you know, the neck is covered up. It gives you a little bit more of a formal look than just simply wearing like a crew neck sweater with this. And uh, really you stand out from the crowd. And just to hammer down on this, notice I wore this maroon turtleneck right here. I was out with my wife. Again, it was the uh, nutcracker weekend. This two days, three performances with my daughters. Yeah. I was the dad there for every single performance and I was looking good. I felt great supporting my girls. As you can see, just had a great date night with my wife. And uh, yeah, I thought I looked pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Now the whole casual suit may be a little bit too formal for some of you guys. So how can you pull it off day to day? Again, simply wearing a heavier turtleneck sweater with dark colored denim. Boom. It's a great look. It's maybe even gray flannels. This look right here, it's not only going to be warmer during those colder months, but again, you're going to stand out from the crowd of everyone else that's just wearing a jacket with a t-shirt and jeans. Here you are showing up looking good and it's a very casual, easy to put together outfit. That being said, getting back to jackets, you don't have to go with a suit jacket. You can go ultra casual. We're talking jean jackets. Yes. A jean jacket with a turtleneck right here. This is a great look, especially for a younger man. Maybe you've got a fatigue jacket. You've got a blouse and jacket, tons of different options. Safari jackets look great with a turtleneck. Classic look right here, wearing a trench coat with a turtleneck sweater. Just yeah, a really good look. And what I love is whenever you match the two together and you go for a bit of contrast, especially if that turtleneck you can bring in with an interesting color. Again, repeat what's already in your wardrobe, which you know colors you gravitate towards. Dark green, another color I absolutely love easy to match with my brown jackets, with my gold jacket. I know in this example right here, I'm going back to the blazer jacket, but a blazer jacket, as you know, is different than a suit combination, a blazer jacket you can wear with jeans. And speaking of sport jackets, blazer jackets, sports jackets, you guys know, I think that they can cure so many things. They build up the shoulders, they slim up the silhouette. And when it comes to matching and wearing them with a turtleneck, this is probably the gold mine. So many different options out here. And again, Whenever I wear a turtleneck, it's pretty much with a sports jacket and jeans, such an easy combination. I'm wearing boots, so I've got traction on my feet, but because I know that most of my sports jackets are going to be in brown, I can just bring in a variety of colors of different turtlenecks and they all work together. But again, go online, look for inspiration. Maybe you want to go with gray suits. You really like this look right here with a black turtleneck, gray and black. Both of these colors just really look great, especially if you already gravitate towards black shoes. This right here is going to be probably be one of the more dressed up looks, especially if you go with just a medium gray or a darker gray suit with that black. Yeah. That nice monochromatic look is going to slim up your silhouette and just have you looking awesome. Another great option here is to bring in that Navy turtleneck and mix it with a gray suit. So many different shades of gray here, but wearing it with a little bit lighter or medium gray right here, or even a charcoal gray, this Navy, again, Navy, is so easy. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. I know in my wardrobe, it pretty much works with any sports jacket I want to pull off. And for a lot of guys, that Navy turtleneck is probably the easiest place to start. And gents, if you've got a coat in your collection, maybe a long coat, maybe an overcoat, maybe a top coat, something that's got a little bit of style to it that you don't get as many miles out of, but you want to wear more often guys look to just simply wear an easy pair of nice dark colored trousers with a turtleneck right there. This combination, again, it's a form of layering. I know you're not wearing wearing technically a jacket with this. And if you've got the build, you can easily pull this off. It's just an elegant look, especially if you're walking about town, you're going out with friends, you want to look and you know, you're not going to probably take that coat off this whole combination right here. Just really 
pops and can grab attention in a very elegant and stylish way. Now, at this point, you may be thinking footwear. What's going to look great with the turtleneck? Well, guys, I got you covered how to style Chelsea boots as an adult man. I think Chelsea boots and a variety of other styles of boots look great with a turtleneck sweater under the right circumstances, but I cover all that in this video right here. Go check it out. Uh, it's a good one. I think you'll enjoy it. And magically, when you click that right there, you will go to the video. I'll also link to it down in the description, but guys, go check it out. Solid video.